America. In the early 1950s, it was a gray and gritty time with a country that was shaking itself out of a world war. The music and culture of that time had America obsessed with winning the war. And now that war was over and the country was ready to move on. But to what? Rising up from the debris of that war came a new generation that was restless for a new day, a new way and a sound they could call their own. This new generation didn't have to think about guns, so they started to think about a groove that was about them and this new time in America. And so it began. All these kids looking for a new beat. They began the journey. They started gathering on corners, the malt shops, the diners. And they started to build the new America with new sights and sounds that made the rest of the world stop and listen and stare with a new amazement. A dynamic young man would bring America into a new era only to leave us too soon, but it gave the youth a thirst for a new frontier. A young man from Memphis would swivel his hips into history. A small group of crickets could be heard clear across the country. A new Hollywood rode onto the screen with a rebel in leather leading the way. Fenders grew fins and guys grew ducktails and America's new pop heroes had arrived. Then, from New Jersey came part of that new sound for a new generation born of America's tough working class. Kids belting out another part of the unique American sound. Doo-wop, and America's new vocal sensations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we take you back to that golden time tonight. Please welcome to the stage, Polly and the Goodfellas in Jersey Nights. America. In the early 1950s,